twenties from then, you know. Uh, I'm trying to think. I bet in the twenty four hours. Yeah. And I assume you guys came at midnight that this is a priority, so I assume they're gonna get to go too fast. But. Yeah. Well we're gonna talk about that in a little bit, but We just got a lot of questions to ask. Yeah. Um, we want to get this resolved so everybody can move on with their lives. Sorry about that, Brent. Our system's running a little bit slow. It's like I don't know. There's a storm's coming in. We're getting power outages. Okay. Um, Like I said, you're home. Um, my name is Anthony Manganero, especially with the FBI. I'm assigned here at Champagne. Um, and then uh, this is Eric. Yeah, Detective Eric Stuyverson. Detective with the uh, University Police, okay. Um, we are investigating the disappearance of uh, Ms. Ying Ying. Um, because we are in my offices and it's late at night, I'm going to read you your advice of rights, okay? Um, again, this is a voluntary interview, so at any time you're done, we'll drive you back home. That's the end of it. But um, just kind of given that it's late and stuff like that, yeah, I'll respond some caution. All right, so before we ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you before we ask you any questions. So I'm trying to read upside down. Uh, you have the right to have a lawyer with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop answering questions at any time. Um, if you understand these rights, if you have any questions about these rights, um, ask now, ask any time. If you do wish to talk, um, you can sign. I'll sign as a witness, and I'll go from there. I'm willing to answer questions. It's some questions, obviously. I don't know. Yeah, if there, if I ask you yeah. a question, and you're like, hey, I don't want to answer that, but I'll answer other ones. Yeah. Again. ahead of time because I know that you've already spoken with my colleague Joel. This chair is it's like broken, isn't it? Yeah, it's broken. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. Yeah, I think mine's broken. Thank you. We're gonna play musical chairs. I think that's a lot better. It's like I feel like it was leaning back away from me. All right. Um, so I know that. You spoke with my colleague Joel. Um, I've, I've briefly been able to talk to him. We've been kind of running all over the state. Um, so if you can kind of give me a, a recap of, of what you told him, I would I would appreciate it. Um, okay. Our investigation, as I'm sure Joel probably told you, is the disappearance of this woman, uh, this young lady, and uh, the most viable tip that we had referred to a black uh, Saturn Astra. Um, so uh, that's why he came and talked to you yeah. the other day. Um, 
do you remember what you told him? And I'm not going to hold you to it if there are certain details yeah. you forget. Uh, so they came, they were just checking out all of the Saturn Astros in the area. Mm -hmm. I know it's a pretty rare car, so probably a short list. Um, yeah. He asked where my wife and I were during, I think it was two or three on Friday. And I mean, I graduated a couple of weeks ago, so I'm looking for jobs right now. So, okay. I mean, I was either playing video games on my computer or taking an afternoon nap. So, I was unable to purchase an alloy. I looked into certain things to try and see if I could get some kind of info for an alibi. I sent some texts around that time, but none exactly between two and three. Mm -hmm. um, I let them come in the apartment. They searched for stuff. I let them come in the car. They searched for stuff there. Um, that was pretty much it. Okay. 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Give them my info. Uh, would you uh, graduate in? Uh, master's in physics. In physics? Yes. Well, that's way smarter than me. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, and that, I'm, I'm assuming that's over at the U of I there? Yes. Okay. Um, you said your wife was out of town. Um, yes. The guys mentioned something about Wisconsin. Correct. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. You guys are originally from there? Or is yes. That, okay. Um, do you know what day she was uh, in Wisconsin? Um, like late Thursday night, early Friday morning until Sunday evening. Yeah. She look for a job or? No, she has a job here. She's just okay. on a road trip. Cool. Oh, the job center. Wait, what? I'm sorry, I may have misheard. Oh, you. no, she has a job already. Um, she was on a vacation. Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah. Okay. I'm um, seeing some old friends up in. Wisconsin and stuff. Yeah, more or less. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Um, you mentioned that you thought you possibly sent text messages between, you know, the hours of two or three, so you weren't able to find any. Um, That's correct. Do you do you recall um, any text messages they sent that day, or like were there? Oh yeah, there times? were one. I I actually left. Well, I didn't. They didn't look through the phone, but I was trying to text on my phone. Okay. Like someone sent me a text at like one thirty. I responded at like 3.45 or something okay. like that, so um, there are texts around it. Yeah, but not, maybe not. Maybe not exactly between specific. 2 and 3, and that's why I think I was probably lying down and sleeping, just because like, you know, especially now, I'll typically do stuff in the morning, look for jobs, apply to a mm -hmm. few, and like, you know, I like to sleep, yeah. wake up, respond. It, Definitely fits. That okay. Way, so. um, was that kind of pattern of kind of looking for jobs, um, kind of having a little relaxation after graduation, was that typical of the, the entire week prior? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. It's, um, do you remember specifically if you sent any applications out online or if you visited any places on uh, Friday, throughout the week? Um, throughout the week? Uh, I haven't had any in-person interviews. I had a phone interview on Thursday, and... Anything on Friday? Okay. Do you remember if you uh, sent a, an email or anything on Friday? You I did, I checked. I checked. Oh, you checked? Okay. Uh, was that on the email account that you... Yeah, just my... Joel said he, he had an email for you, but... Yeah. Um, it's just my first and last name at gmail.com. Okay. So there's, I didn't really send you yeah. anything else that day, so. Okay. Um, do you have any questions for me before? Um, um, why am I under suspicion? Is it just my car or is there anything else? Uh, I mean, that's, you know, a large portion. Uh, I mean, it is uh, a very unique car. Um, like I said, our search warrant is, uh, is just for the car. Yeah. So we can, yeah. you know, um, look into it. We can, of course, see what we can find. And, of mm -hmm. course, you could also turn around and exonerate you completely. I mean, 
I mean, what a very rare car. Yeah. So, um, but, uh, how long were you at the U of I? Did you do undergrad there as well? No, I did my undergrad at UW Medicine. Okay. And I came here in 2013. Okay. I was initially in the PhD program, but decided I didn't want a PhD, so I just kind of left with the masters. Got it. Um, you like the campus? It's all right. Not too bad. It's all right. Uh, do you do you meet your wife there? Or? No, we uh, actually grew up in the same hometown. Didn't really know each other until end of high school. Mm -hmm. So we both moved to Madison when I went to undergrad, and then both moved here. Cool. Uh, did she study here as well? She did not. Um, do you have any uh, questions, Eric? Yeah, the, uh, when we were talking about uh, Friday, uh, the day in question on the night, uh, the night, can you remember, you, you said that you played video games all day on Friday? Yeah. Is it just between the time period that he's asking about or just literally all day? Literally all day. Um, at the moment, not really hanging out with too many people talking to too many people. Um, my wife and the girl I talked to, um, she was busy, my wife was out of town, so it's like, well, I'm alone today. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's just you, kind you of You didn't go cruise and campus or anything? I did on Saturday, but mm -hmm. I mean, getting a little stir crazy just a second. To go out for a drive yeah. on Saturday, but um, did you go out to eat or anything? Go any places? No, I didn't go out to eat. No. Uh, what other vehicles do you guys own? We you own, own a, uh, a 2000 Camaro as well. That's right. Is that one primarily yours or your wife's? It's primarily mine. Really? So, uh, is that the car that she took on the road trip, or how did she how did she go on a road trip? Uh, the other person's car. Oh. It was her and another person. So, I'll typically drive the Camaro. Um, the vast majority of the time, when I'm doing errands, I'll take the Saturn because it's yeah, probably the Camaro sucks for errands. Yeah, exactly. Groceries so, and everything. Yeah, but the Camaro is the first line. Um, You know that we didn't bring you all the way up here to talk about video games and what you had for lunch that day. Yep. Why do you think that we brought you up here? Because the car I own was seen picking up a girl that's missing. Yeah. Yeah. So who was driving that car other than you on, on Friday night? On Friday the, the night? It's, it, you're driving your car on the ninth, weren't you? Does anybody else have access to that car? No one has access to that car. Okay. So how many sets of keys do we have in that car? Two. And where were they on the Friday? Uh, one. I would have had one. My wife would have had one. And hers were in Wisconsin, right? Yeah. yeah. And what do you keep on that keychain? You keep both sets of keys, right? One for the Camaro, or do you have separate sets? Um, I have one keychain, but sometimes I take the Camaro keys off of it. So. Now, let's talk specifically about Friday. Okay. okay. You went to school for how long at the U of I? Since 2013. Since 2013. Yeah, so you're very familiar with our campus? Not really. I never really um, talked to anyone. Okay. So. so you're kind of a loner? And you would have went to Loomis Lab, you said? Yes. Here? Okay. Yeah, that was my name. Was okay. That and the attached buildings. The... Uh, but specifically on that day, okay, when you, you originally told the agents that came to your apartment that you just played video games all day long. And you didn't leave the apartment. Yeah. But it's fair to say that we know that that's not true, correct? Why would I lie? I mean, I, maybe there's some misunderstanding why, why we're here. Because, like I said, we're 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 not just looking for a needle in a haystack. I, I'm sorry. Let me take that back. We are looking for a needle in a haystack. 
Yeah. But my point is, you're you're making it sound like we're just we're we just randomly came across your vehicle of the fourteen hundred asterisks that are in the state of Illinois. I have so 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 what would have happened that day that brings us to you? Probably that I live in Champaign. I mean, I've never seen one before, uh, an Astro. So... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well... Believe me when I say that the full weight and force of the FBI is going to descend on that vehicle. Okay. And all that entails. Okay. okay. Right now, my primary concern and why I've been out till midnight and these guys have been out till midnight every single night is we're trying to find this girl. It's raining outside, it's nasty, she's a foreign student, has only been here for a few weeks. I want to find her. I'm asking for help. I know. I... I mean... I've got her getting into your car. I need to know why. There's Brent, I need, I need to know why she's getting into your car and I need to know where she went. If we can help her, we need to know now. Because we need we need to move on from this. It, it's been like six days now. I don't know what to say. Sorry. And you've been at the U of I for how long? Three years. Three years. And that you know what we do. I work in the detectives bureau at the U of I, and you know what we have access to. Okay. Cameras. Do you think that we're not going to track a vehicle all over campus? We control kiosks to bus stops. We can look in buses. We can look in every building out on the streets, and you're telling me that I didn't see you driving your car on Goodwin, that I didn't see you driving down Wright Street and turning on right in front of a parking where everybody pays their tickets and driving down University to Goodwin and heading south. And then you see her standing on that corner in that shade tree, didn't you? That's where you first saw her. And then you turned, you turned on Clark, and we still have cameras. I've seen the videos, but I didn't see me. You've seen what we've allowed you to see. Can I see the stuff that you're talking about? Do you think that we brought you up here to show you video? We want to we wanna understand why you did it. Yeah. We want to understand why you stopped there to pick her up. Was it to give her a ride? Are you afraid to tell us that you gave her a ride? Maybe you wanted to make a couple bucks as an Uber driver, and she told you I had to go get, I had to go sign a lease at One North, and you're like, oh, I know where that's at. I'll drop you off. If you're afraid to tell us that you gave her a ride someplace, we can work with you there. But I know that you picked her up. I know you did. I saw you in your shirt. Arms fully extended. Where did you drop her off at? She was looking for a ride. She had missed her bus. She told you she was going to One North, so where did you drop her off at? name that you picked up? No, she was talking very broken English. Okay. Tell us about what happened, what time of day was that? Early afternoon, I don't really remember. Okay. I was just driving around. Um, I saw a girl and she was very distressed. Okay. 
So I stopped my car and looked at her. I asked her if she needed help. I talked to her for a little bit, not much. I gave her a short ride to Cold Locks. Okay. She freaked out and got out. Okay. That's all it was. Was this when you got on the north side of the railroad tracks on Goodwin? When you went across the university and you drove on north? And you let her out by the hospital or by the railroad tracks? Or where did you let her out at? I don't really remember specifics. Um, was it close to where you picked her up? Yeah, it was relatively close. It was in a residential area. Okay. So I'd never really been over there before. I had no reason to. Okay. When you say she freaked out, what did, what did she do? Did she did she start throwing things at you? Did she scratch you? It looks like you have a scratch on your right bicep there. Is that oh, from... I scratched it? myself in my sleep. That's from me. Okay. So, so she just freaked out? So she's sitting in the front passenger seat of your vehicle? Okay. Has no. anybody else sat in that front passenger seat since, since she got out of the car? Probably. Um, okay. Not with me, but with my wife probably. I mean, so other than your wife, who, who else sat in the front passenger seat with you that you know of? Um, maybe a guy she's hanging out with. Your wife? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't okay. think so it was her. I, uh, and, well, and I if it's, if it's her or not again, okay. I want to find this girl because I know she's alone and scared out there and we yeah. don't have any contact with her. So you said you picked her up. Yeah. You went a couple blocks away to a residential area. You remember if you went north? I went north for sure. Okay. I mean, I know my current directions. Yeah. Thing. Okay. So you went north. So that, that was relatively close to Loomis. So. All right. To to where? It was relatively close to Loomis. I'm so Loomis. Of that area. Okay. Where you dropped her off, or where you picked her up? Um, where I picked her up. So uh, I, I'm serious when I say I was. I'm pretty antisocial. I pretty much just go to Loomis area, that parking lot there, and then go home. Okay. But I knew my general area, mm -hmm. and I don't remember exactly where I was. Okay, but where did you, where did you drop her off at? There's a residential area, I guess, a little north of Loomis. Um, the same street you picked her up from, right? Yeah, north of that place. That would be Goodwin Avenue that you were on. Okay. So, and you're facing north when she gets in the car. She showed me her phone, and I was like, broken English, she said, I'm going here. Mm -hmm. um, so she was showing your phone like a maps program? Yeah. Okay. Um, and I saw it was north, so I started driving north, and she said something like, turn left after a couple blocks. Um, maybe she said something else because that's really when she started freaking out. Okay. And she so wanted to get out of the car, get out, try to pull in the door. It's locked because my the car had locks. Mm -hmm. I'm locked, she got out, does it. Where were the streets at, do you remember? No, I don't remember. Um, do you remember what she was wearing? <clears throat> No, I don't. Um, she had a backpack. Uh, jeans. Did she have anything uh, on her head? Was she wearing sunglasses? Did she have tennis shoes on or flip-flops? I didn't notice flip flops or high heels or anything, so it was probably normal shoes. Um, what was her ethnicity? You said she had trouble speaking English. Well, she was Asian. Asian. She was Asian. She was Asian. Okay. Um, well, what was? What do you think? How old do you think she was? Was she? Do you think she was a grad student, undergrad? Was she? Um, I guess it was about twenty. I guess it was about 20. Um, her hair length-ish. Kind of here. Um, uh, I have trouble telling Asian people apart from one another. Sorry. Well, you would remember no, this very specific, though, because when you pulled up to her, 
you rolled your window down and she leaned into your car, so you were looking right at her face. And what does she have on her face? What does she have on her head? You were looking right at her. I don't remember. You don't remember? No, I mean, even, so I taught many, many semesters here and a lot of the students were Asian. Okay. Was she wearing glasses? Did she have a ball cap on? She, she might have been wearing glasses, I don't remember that. So. What did she tell you whenever you rolled down the window and you were chatting with her? You said she looked distressed. Uh, That's my stuff. Do you remember specifically what yeah, I thought she sad. said to you? Um, I asked her something on the phone. Um, Okay. What would she say to that? Uh, she said, I'm late, I need to get somewhere or something like this. I was not exactly out of it, but just kind of like, oh, I'm going to help this random person, so I'm going to come down with in the first place. Um, so she said she was running late for something? Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, well, you need to ride, because again, I was just trying to run around. Mm -hmm. So, did she say where she was trying to get to? You mentioned the um, showing the phone uh, with the mask. She said she had a meeting with her professor. So, I said, all right. Um, yeah, I don't remember us talking for that long, and there wasn't really there wasn't much said. Um, she, like, when I told her my name, she didn't really hear it, so I had to say it again mm -hmm. a few times. So, I mean, her English was really bad. Um, maybe I wasn't speaking properly either. Yeah, I mean, we really didn't talk about much. There really wasn't much said. I just, she looked freaked out, so I got her right. So how, how long do you think that she was in your car for? Less than five minutes. Not long at all. Minutes. Not long at all. There's just a few blocks, and I apparently took a wrong turn compared to what she said, and that was enough to spook her. I don't know. So when you crossed the railroad tracks, did you turn to the left or to the right? I don't remember railroad tracks. Okay. So those are a little further up, I think, aren't they? But you, I mean. I don't know, again, I don't know the area that well. Those are before the hospital, pretty close to them. I don't know if I was that far up. So, I mean, I have no reason to go up that way because it's. So, if you would have turned left there after university, you would have driven right by the hospital. You would have been south of the tracks, and you, you, the very next thing you see, you're behind the hotel, right? You see the hospital. I see. Yeah, you said I, you I went mean, to a residential neighborhood yeah, when you so turned. When she said turn left, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm working on. Yeah, I know the area very well. I don't think I drove past the hospital, so I don't mm -hmm. remember train tracks. But I mean, it's easy to forget. But, so where? So you said you kicked her out of the car in a residential neighborhood. She got out of the car. I did. Oh, she got out of the car. She wanted to get out. Like that's why I let her out. Because oh, she was freaking out. Yeah. Okay. And she was saying because things you didn't understand. Because you, uh, she, she thought you took a wrong turn. Yeah, and something was up, I don't know, something like that. So, yeah. I mean, she tried to open the door, but again, it was locked because of my car auto locks. Um, I was the one to get out. I'm not going to keep someone I barely know in my car who just want to be in there. You know, I don't know the girl. Um, so they're up. That was the last I saw her. Really? All right. I mean, um, I would have told us earlier, but I mean, I thought it was Saturday. I just... Can I move this around a little? Thank you. Yeah. Um, I guess let's start where you think you picked her up at. That's a good question. Um, well, it's Lo like Loomis so Lab is... So Goodwin is there. Green Springfield. So Loomis is right here. Mm -hmm. um, I remember driving around here. Um, 
was north of Springfield, so I guess I was kind of in this area, maybe. Yeah, like over here. I remember being by the quad. Do you remember driving by Wright Street, where the little Circle K is, and the big Beckman Institute that is a landmark on a university? Um, I don't think I drove past Beckman. Okay. It doesn't ring a bell. I've been to Beckman a couple times. I don't know what it looks like from the other side, but I have had to go there a few times. Um, I guess... There's a Circle K right over here. I don't remember that. I don't remember coming up Wright Street, driving across the University. Coming down Goodwin. You see her standing there underneath that shade tree at the bus stop. You take that quick left, and you run a box around her. Now you come back up north, Goodwin, and you pull up right next to her. And you talk to her for less than a minute. And she gets in your car. She was on my passenger side, so I would go this way. Mm -hmm. um, again, I was driving around a decent amount beforehand. I don't remember exactly where I go beforehand. Yeah, we, so you were definitely driving all over campus. And you were by yourself. And you weren't playing video games all day. So why would you tell us that? Why would you tell the FBI that comes to your house that I you were Saturday? Saturday. Except the days. I mean, I thought I was doing it Saturday. So, what did you think that those two agents were at your house talking to you about when they came over? Friday. That's why. I mean, Friday is a day, or Friday, or they're there to ask you if you picked up an Asian female and gave her a ride. About Friday. I mean, they were asking me about Friday between two and three. So I told them. I mean, maybe I got my days mixed up. You know, I said a little bit ago, I thought I was doing this Saturday. But you didn't bother to tell them, oh, I didn't, I played video games all day Friday, uh, uh, Detective, but I actually did pick up a female on Saturday. You, you didn't feel the need to give them that information? And it might be important? I mean... All right, so you go northbound through University. Where do you go next? Do you remember? I turned left... So it looks like I did go past, past university. Um, this must be the residential area I was talking about then. So I must have went past university. Yeah, for sure. So I drove a little more than that. So I must have turned left somewhere up here into this area. And that's where I would have dropped her off. For sure. So just for, you were showing the area of Hill Street and what was that, Beasland? Um, I don't know exactly where in here I was, but I mean, just looking at this, yeah, I mean, if this is good when um, Springfield's right here, I was in this area here. I'm assuming this is a residential area. Do you remember seeing a, a grade school off to your right? Did you get that far north where you would have saw Martin Luther King Junior High or elementary school right there? I, I don't know. I don't know. Where'd you go after? Um, Straight home? Yeah, that was enough for me for that day. Okay. Where did you see her walking out? Um, she's really just standing there looking at her phone. I mean, I left. Did you see her walking in any direction? I don't think so. No. Going to ask a personal question. Don't take it the wrong way. It is um, you, know, you, you mentioned your wife went on vacation with another friend. Um, you mentioned that uh, there's another guy she hangs out with. You mentioned there's another girl you hang out with. Do you guys have a we're no, we're very open relationship? relationship? Okay. Yeah, I have a girlfriend. She has a boyfriend as well. Okay. Um, so, um, kind of strained between us as well, in an unrelated way. Okay. So it's not because of their own relationship, it's just strained. So um, I, I, every marriage goes through some rough patches. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, how, how long has that been going on, that, that strain? A few months. A few months. I mean,
Yeah, I mean, I didn't tell her that I did this because I was scared that, I mean, well, great now, this is happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did she go to Wisconsin with a boy or another girlfriend? Guy. Did that, how'd that make you feel when she went away for the weekend, this long weekend with that guy? And it's okay, those, that, those are normal human feelings. Yeah. Did you feel hurt? Well, yeah, but, I mean, she's been seeing that for a while. Um, but still, she's your wife, and it's tough, you know, even if you're in an open relationship like that, where it's tough to see somebody you care about, that you love, to go someplace else with somebody else, and yeah. not include you. Yeah. And I get that, man. Is that why you were driving around campus all day, pretty much all day long on Friday? Because you missed her? Just trying to clear my head. Yeah, more or less. That's yeah. understandable. Yeah. I stir crazy, I was lonely. Um, and I thought it was Saturday. So. Did you talk to any other girls that day? No. Did you talk to any other girls on Saturday? Or did you stay home Saturday? No. Once again, days mixed up. Okay. Yeah, but I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to trip you up on the days. When I was driving, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in a clear way then. When I was driving around, she was the only person I talked to. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Do you remember what time you started driving around campus that day? Was it early in the morning? Was it mid afternoon? Uh, right. After I ate lunch, but it was an early lunch. Where'd you eat lunch at? Did you eat in Savoy? No, at home. No. Were you down in Research Park at all before you saw her that day? Down in Research Park? Down, uh, down by the I Hotel? How far down? Um, I don't remember exactly where I drove. I wasn't just on campus, but. Do you remember driving by the assembly hall or State Farm Center? No, I don't remember that. I don't actually know what those are. Oh, this is where they play basketball, the big basketball arena. It looks like a giant mushroom on the south quad. I grew up past the cemetery around there. Yeah. So, again, um, like, I, I really don't know campus. It's, it sounds kind of sad because I've been here for three and a half years now, but I still don't know. The, bi the big cemetery by the football field? Yeah. Yeah. That, uh, and you were, so that's Kirby Avenue. Yes, okay. I was on Kirby. Yeah, and you were heading uh, east towards Urbana, and Kirby, I, I, you would have had the baseball fields off to your right, the cemetery off to your left, so you would have had softball field, baseball field, off to your right. And then right when you got to Lincoln Avenue, there's soccer fields off to your right. I don't remember the specifics on directions, but I was down by the cemetery. I okay, fair enough. So, yeah, that's a key landmark. Yeah. But you don't remember where you went after you drove past the cemetery? It was, no, I mean, it was completely random where I was driving. I didn't have any kind of... Do you remember driving off campus in Urbana? Into a residential neighborhood in Urbana? In Urbana? If I did, it wasn't that far. So were, you, were you in Orchard Downs? Orchard Downs. Where all of our married student housing is. There's a large Asian community that lives out there. You driving around Orchard Downs? I did go to Orchard Downs for a little bit, but there was construction, so I turned back. I know I went to Orchard Downs because a friend of mine uh, has an apartment there. Mm -hmm. so who's, who's your friend? Her name is Rita. I uh, she was a co-worker, research partner of mine. Okay. When I went here, um, didn't see her obviously. Nothing like that. I was like, so you you came down and came down all the way through. Uh, I, I turned into there but again. There was construction, so I just left immediately because I was like, "This is boring." Turn around, and you could get yeah. all the way through. Um, I mean, I drive like this occasionally. It's just to clear my head. I like exploring. I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one of those things like I drive down Springfield every single day at work. Mm -hmm. There are two streets right next to it. Literally never seen them. It's like oh, I wonder what those are. So you take those instead. So I do it occasionally, and Saturday was the day where I did a lot of videos. Yeah, no, again, not, not trying to 
fall to you or, or yeah. trip you up over the days. I know sometimes days can be a blur. So you were cruising around campus a bit, um, trying to clear your head. Yeah. Uh, your wife was up in Wisconsin with her boyfriend. Um, while you're cruising around, you saw Miss Ying Ying. Uh, she appeared very distressed. Is that correct? If it was her, yeah. I mean, I don't know. If I recognized her, I would have told the agents that came on Monday or Tuesday, whenever that it was her. Okay. Light. Because I knew she was missing. Um, I picked up an Asian girl. I thought she was about 20. So. Okay. And from there you went north on university. Um, she was trying to point out directions on her phone. Yeah. Uh, you turned left into the neighborhood. She started panicking. I got up. And that's all that happened. And then I went When she said she was distressed, uh, or you said that she looked distressed, what did, what did she say to you when you rolled your window down and talked to her? Um, she said she was late for something. Other than that, did she, did she tell you what, what it was? She or said where she was had at? a meeting with her professor. Did she tell you where it was at? Yeah, but I didn't understand her. Okay. So. So did she offer to pull up the address in her phone um, and show it to you? I think she did that in my car. I don't remember her getting her phone outside of the car. And what did her phone look like? Was it black? Was it red? Uh, do you remember what kind it was? Like Android or iOS? wasn't my type of phone, I can tell you that much. Um, what kind do you have? I have a Samsung Moto okay. G, so an Android. Um, do you remember um, the color of the case? Because she showed you the map, where she wanted you to take her. The front of it must have been white. Okay, I fair enough. Hand like this, yeah. I didn't see the back. Yeah. Do you remember the, did you recognize the map program? It must have been Google Maps, I mean, okay. I think that's what everyone uses, so. I, I know that there's a couple out there. It, I mean, it looked like the one you showed me, so. Okay. Yeah. It's, it didn't look anything weird to me, so. Mm -hmm. Again, my, um, you know, my theory is that she can get out of the car. I'm just being open with you. My, my theory is um, she was in there a little bit longer. Um, I'd like you to be more forthcoming with me because, again, I need to find where she is. I've got her family flying over here from China. It's been six days. It's rainy outside. I need to find her. We have 600 Chinese students that have volunteered to look for her. What I can tell you is that we will find her. Now when we find her is up to you. Because you know and we know that she didn't just get out of your car. So we need to know where she is now so that we can move forward from this. But if you maintain that she just got out of the car and walked away, it's very difficult for us to move forward. Were, were you hoping for um, just kind of like a quick tryst with her or see if, you know, trying to, try to pick her up? I mean, that would have been nice, but... Uh, uh. Do, do you have, I'm going to ask you a weird question, and you know, a lot of us have fetishes. Uh, how would you describe your relationship with your wife? Are you guys into certain things? Do you like porn? Do you like... Um, we're pretty vanilla together. Um, 
but yeah, that's pretty much it. We have some stuff in our apartment. I mean, do you have like certain types of people that you have fantasies about that you might want to hook up with? You know, not particularly, no. Well, I missed about the thing. Okay. I mean, have you ever like? Um, you do realize like everything you tell us, we fact check regardless of what you tell us. So, yeah, I know. like stuff like uh, YouTube videos that you've seen okay. regarding Asian women. Do you like videos of Asian women? The like Korean women. Like. K-pop songs and stuff. I mean, maybe. I like okay. So I like all types of women. Okay, and that's that's the truth. So I don't have an Asian fetish. But something drew your eye to her because you, you, you were cruising all over, and yeah. if she was truly distressed, I mean, there was an e-phone stand right behind her. She could have pushed that button and, and got help. And she didn't ask you for help per se. She asked. She needed to get to. She was late for something. Yeah. And that's so you offered to give her a ride. Mm -hmm. Now, I look. I've, I've been doing this. I'm 45 years old. I've been policing uh, basically since I was 21 years old. Young Marine, living out in Quantico, Virginia. I've had a gun on my belt for basically most of my adult life. Okay. And I get that, that sometimes people lie to me. I don't get upset over that. I don't take it personal. You know, a lot of times people, uh, they tell me truths, and then, or they basically, a uh, little bit of truth here, a little bit of truth there, but just to try to stay the course, to make me believe that they're telling me they're being entirely truthful. But you and I know that here and now, what we're talking about, you're not being entirely truthful with us. And at this point, we're trying to help you. We're trying to help her. We're trying to help her family. I don't think that you're a bad person. Something happened, though, and something got out of control. And we need to know where she's at. Because the longer she's missing... We're going to find the answers to all these questions, whether we do it now or we have to do it two weeks from now. But we're, we're, going to, we're going to put this behind us, and everybody's going to move forward. And this is a time for you to be entirely honest with us. She, 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 her family is coming to China to look for their daughter. So, you, do you have any sisters? Yeah. What? Wouldn't, wouldn't, if, if your sister was missing, even if, if it was because of you, wouldn't you want to help for the closure for that family, for, for your loved ones? You have to know, you're a smart man. You have a PhD. Right? Masters. Masters. Oh, you still got out of the PhD. You're still a smart man, is my point. So you have to understand how technology works. How do you think I knew that she Googled the address to One North? How do you think I knew that? One minute after getting in your car, how do you think I knew that? We know that you did. she didn't get out of your car. You need to be honest with us. Help us put this to rest. Help us bring her back to her family. You can do that. You can do that. You can do it right now. I understand if you've had dark thoughts. I understand if you've been depressed. I understand if you've been drinking too much at times. I understand if you've had sadistic thoughts, wondered what it would be like to commit an act of violence. I know that temptation is out there. 
I need to find her. I know she got in your car. You went with her. You've been depressed. Your wife just left to go on a vacation with another man. You see her. She gets in. She's vulnerable. Let me find her. I think I've told you. Okay, so did she get back in your car then? No. Did you get out of the car and follow her? No. Definitely not. I didn't get out of my car single time. Well, why not? Was it because of the kind of neighborhood you were in? I don't know anything about that neighborhood. So, um, did she run away from you? Did she stand there? No, she stood there, looked at her phone, and I drove away. So I don't remember her going any direction. So that's that's what it is. Mm -hmm. When are you sure that you left let her out of the car in the in the neighborhood? Are you sure you didn't let her out more towards the heart of Champagne, maybe close to the railroad tracks? Are you sure you didn't drive her further? West in the Champagne. It wasn't when you first took that left up after Goodwin. I don't remember how far it was. Um, I thought it was shortly after. I don't remember like crazy specifics like that. I don't know. Um, you would remember this drive. Not specifics like that. I like how far are you talking? Like a mile or two? No, not that far. I don't think so. So you're telling me that when we find her, we're going to find her phone, is what you're telling me. Is that what you're telling me? Because when she got out of her car, your car, she had her phone in her hand? I have no idea. She had her phone, yeah. I don't know if you're... I don't know the answer to that question. So... Well, certain questions we ask you, we know the answers to. We're, we're seeing if you're being truthful with us. Okay. You know, if I ask you a question I know the answer to, and you give me a different answer, I know you're not being truthful with me. You know, um, this is part of the reason why we keep asking it. Help us find her. Um, I appreciate your you. you being honest with her getting into the car, uh, it tells me that you're telling the truth because I knew the answer to that. Uh, so I want point. to bring her back to her family. Okay. okay. What happened in that car? I know she was looking for directions. Things went sideways. That's what happened. I, Did you? Were you attracted to her at all? Reasonable not. Well, she's a good-looking girl. Did the thought cross your mind? Yeah, the thought crossed my mind, but it probably happened with anyone. I mean, maybe she's into that. Is my point. And I'm not. I'm not judging you. If she got in your car and she wanted to have go to another location, you guys have a have some fun, roll, roll around, have sex, consensual sex. Something happens. You panic. Is that a possibility? Mm. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. So you're telling me you never had sex with her? I never had sex with her. Never penetrated her with your fingers? Any, any parts of her body? With no. your penis? No. With your fingers? No. Never had sex. Did you kiss her? No. Okay. Are you afraid? Are you afraid to tell me if you did? Because it, it seems like you're you're trying to think instead of just answering the question. You're trying to think about three steps forward, well, like where I'm going with it. And I think I've demonstrated enough, I've shared enough with you that you know that I know 
that you, you didn't drop her off in that in that neighborhood. You you know that we can follow her phone. Okay. So where did you drop her off at? Where'd you take her, Brent? We need to find Yang Yang. Tonight. 